exciting to be able to finally launch uh, an inaugural March Arts program. All of our health facilities are involved, so they're all going to be having um, events across March. So this will include exhibitions of patient and staff artwork, live music, theatrical performances, poetry, reading, workshops, lectures, murals and walking tours. There's so much talent out there, even just amongst our clinicians, and also we've got patient art. So you'll find that um, we've got a wonderful display. We are from um, Alcohol and Drug Unit in, uh, at Concord, and um, so this is uh, part of the therapy that we do. Flower arranging, which again is another form of art. Uh, it's a living art as we look at it, and um, yes, we thoroughly enjoy it. It has a great effect on, on people. I think everyone here would know that every day across our health facilities, our patients and the staff caring for them are faced with challenging and difficult circumstances. And we firmly believe that the arts can be enlisted uh, to enhance these experiences. The relationship between art and health, one specifically, of course, is the place of art therapy or creative therapies in healing or in uh, illness which uh, there's a lot of evidence to say that it's quite therapeutic.